On this 50 point inspection, I have where is the lava from the Browery. Uh, now the Browery is out of I don't I don't know where is, oh uh Placencia, California. Um, and this is a it's a bourbon barrel aged sour imperial stout with cherry cacao nibs, uh, cocoa powder, and Madagascar vanilla beans. Sixteen point two percent ABV, and this is courtesy of the Whiskey Scout. So I will leave a link to his channel at the end of this video you can find it right up there and uh, yeah let me go ahead and put this uh, through an inspection I'll open it up right after I let out the dogs we're back to open up the can uh, this is Packaged uh, in August, looks like 18th of 2021. So we're looking at about nine months old. But it's a Imperial Stout, high ABV, and it's a sour too. Sour Imperial Stout. All right, let's do it. All right, so it's got a rocky, khaki-colored head, getting a lot of the uh, tart cherry from afar already. But uh, yeah, I'd say it's a deep brown uh, brew. Um, more aromas. Yeah, uh, cherry. It's it's like um, Tootsie Pop. Yeah, the cherry Tootsie Pop, it kind of has that kind of chocolatey note as well as uh, the cherry. And it's like a candied cherry almost. Uh, some of the bourbon barrel uh, notes coming through as well in the nose. A little bit of that uh, oaky vanilla. What else was in this thing? Well, I pretty much just named everything that was in in as an adjunct here. So, uh, all right, that's that's what I am getting. Uh, it's chocolatey, it's cherry, it's vanilla, it's bourbon barrel, uh, and it's got a tartness, sweetness and a tartness to the nostrils. So, first uh, swig here. Cheers. All right. Uh, yeah, chocolate, cherry, tart. I'd say it's more tart than uh, super sour. Uh, but picking up on the bourbon barrel notes in this, the uh, cherry, chocolate. So it's, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit tart. Uh, I think the ABV is well hidden. It is warming. Uh, a bit in the chest here, but uh, as far as alcoholic notes, not really getting a, an alcoholic flavor. It really does. It reminds me a lot of uh, a cherry flavored Tootsie Pop. It's kind of that Tootsie Roll uh, chocolate type thing going for it. There is a bit of a bitterness on the tail end as well. Earthy toned a little bit. Uh, some of that cherry is kind of mixing in with it too. Earthy toned cherry, uh, slight baker's chocolate type uh, bittering effect on the tail end. 
I would say this is moderately bitter. It's got a thin, thin mouthfeel to it, thin body. Uh, higher side carbonation. It's prickly. Now I wish you uh, maybe a bit more barrel note um, on the flavors I think would be nice but kind of getting it there uh, all right I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a score <laughs> start this off with saying this is probably something I mean it's alright to have it's probably not a, a style that I would realistically uh, try to seek out though uh, it is it is interesting and uh, it is good it's just would land in the <laughs> kind of category that I'm kind of like I don't know but the appearance on it will give it the 6 out of 6. And the aromas, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Add all of the uh, all of the addeds uh, to it. Uh, it is missing out, I'd say, a bit on uh, some of the... Some of the malt... Oh, the, there is a bit of plum that I'm getting. But I think, I think uh, some of the malts are kind of hidden uh, underneath all the, the added. So 9 out of 10 for the Air Max. Uh, flavor on this one, I'm not totally digging the, the uh, kind of tail end flavors. Uh, that earthy tone mixing with cherry, uh, a bit of a baker's chocolate kind of bitterness. That's, kind of, that's the finish that I'm left with. Uh, so the finish on it, not a, not a big fan of that but most of the other flavors and everything the uh carbonation everything's fine with this beer i'm gonna give this a 15 out of 19. on the body it's a thin body but it works higher carbonation thin body it just works i mean this isn't like a straight up imperial stout it is a soured one uh, so you kind of expect a bit of a thinner body with most sours except for the heavily pureed pastry stuff but uh yeah i'll give it the five out of five for the body and my overall as like i said this probably wouldn't be a style that i would gravitate towards uh this one's interesting it works well and uh it's, it's not a bad not a bad beer it's just not grasping me like i need to go out and buy more imperial sour stouts uh but i'm at a seven out of ten for my overall i'm very glad i got to try this um it's gonna leave where is the lava from the brewery or the browery however it's pronounced with a bumpy 42 out of 50 which is gonna put this as a very good beer i do want to appreciate the whiskey scout uh, for getting this over to me uh, he really thought it was a special brew and it is it's it's different it's not something you're gonna find all the time and uh, I'm okay with that but still a very good beer and thank you thank you whiskey scout thank you all for watching and cheers mm -hmm.